right, let's give everybody some actual ideas of what we're yeah. talking about here because we have a few 3D images of yeah. the body and I want to, we're going to use these to get a better idea of what happens to our bodies when we lose weight because we started talking about this and weight loss can affect so many different areas of the body. So doctor, what are some of the areas commonly affected by weight loss? So yeah, I think, so one of the important things is what, by, by weight loss, one of the things that's going to affect us, you can see as we start gaining weight, you're going to get a lot of bigger, larger fat deposits into this area, in the abdominal area, in the area of the breast, and even this is a male, but it will actually have it start having a female pattern breast. You have fat that's going to deposit in the extremities, including the arms, and in the arms, usually this will result in very large arm and in stretching the skin in the arms, the legs, the skin here, the skin in the legs and the inner thighs is attached to the bones in the pelvis. That's why our skin our legs doesn't fall off, it's nicely and tightly adhered. When you gain weight, all of this adherences that will keep the skin in your legs and that nice shape to your legs is lost, it's stretched, it's pulled. Um, I wish we had, we would be able to turn him around, but if you would see his buttock, one of the things that happens <laughs> is the buttock and the gluteus also will start sagging and falling down. So if you have massive weight, all of the skin is going to be stretched and the natural adherence is that we have the well-defined, uh, if you see the well-defined boundaries that you have, all of this gets lost as, as the bigger you get. Even in the face, your neck, you start losing your neck profile, you, um, you start actually uh, losing the, 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 you know, the definition of your neck definition with your neck and it, it just starts looking like it's all together a single structure. You end up having a larger, rounder face if, if you compare compare these images together. So when we start losing weight and when uh, the, the body starts to change, where does it sag the most? Mm -hmm. So usually the areas, again, abdomen, because we usually will have excess skin and this excess skin will sag and it can actually pass, you know, below your waistline into your infra, you know, even below your genitals, your breast, your breast will sag and they can you know, end up having very large pendular breath, and the skin around the, the arms is very important. You almost end up having the image of what almost looks like a bat. You know, you have like bat arms. Um, and then here the skin and your, and your thighs, the skin inside of the thighs, even though you lose the weight, you end up having rubbing skin inside of the areas of the thighs.